Hello, this video demonstrates the exploitation of Log4j vulnerability of an application that was created by Christoph. He wrote this using the Spring Boot Java web framework using the Log4j library that is vulnerable to this exploitation. This is on GitHub, so right now I'm just git cloning and pulling this repository on my local uh, Kali Linux. And uh, this was configured to run in Docker, so I'm just creating a Docker compose file. Right now, I'm exposing the service on port 8081. The application failed to launch because I need to do this as root, which I'm going to do so right now. So this Java application was written using the Spring Boot framework. So if I go to the service right now on localhost, uh, it's going to just display a generic uh, error page. As you can see, there is already some traffic on the Docker log files. So in root, I'm launching the Metasploit framework right now. Right now, I'm searching for the log4j exploit and using the first one. So the way this exploit works is it creates HTTP requests. It has a list of HTTP headers that it injects into this request. And it also injects a specially crafted message that will trigger an end of connection back to the Kali machine. So right now I am selecting the payload to be injected. So I'm selecting the Java interpreter reverse HTTP that will be sent with the request. And the configuration is almost done. So the first thing this is going to do is figure out which uh, header is this application vulnerable to and it's vulnerable to the X API version header as you will see right now. Next is going to create the metaprinter jar file and then it's going to serve it and execute it on the target machine. So the metaprinter session has opened and I'm logged in as root so I can do any post exploitation techniques as root such as for example downloading a file from the target server. 